my next guest is a very sweet, sweet lady on the New Heart Show, and she's changing gears now in her acting career. She'll come out here and tell us all about it. Please welcome Mary Fran. <laughs> Jackie, based on Jackie Collins' two novels, Lucky and Chances. And it's really a story uh, set in the 30s and the 40s of power, rising to power out of nowhere, a very impoverished guy, uh, really just a, a street guy, comes into great power, somewhat with my help. Yeah. And his daughter, Lucky, whom he has um, great conflict with. And finally, they reconcile. And then, of course, there, there's a myriad of characters, you know, because Jackie loves very complex, colorful characters. So there's, you know, there's a prostitute who then, you know, he befriends. And there's um, this strange relationship, you know, that I have with this character named uh, Gino Santangelo. Yeah, let's expound on the area yeah. where you said my help. My help. Well, this woman that I play, Clementine Duke, is a very glamorous, powerful, rich socialite. She is used to getting her way, and a lot of getting her way has to do with young men. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> young men are attracted to her, and she likes them back. Mm. And she takes this Gino Santangelo and really introduces him to the great pleasures uh, uh, of sex and how to behave socially. He thinks he's this, you know, tough guy who knows all about women. Mm -hmm. And she's the one who says, wait a minute, no, you don't know anything. Throw out everything you think you know. I'm going to teach you. Mm. Now, now uh, we're, <laughs> we're friends, and, and I'm a big fan of yours from, I mean, when I was in college, I used to watch Days of Our Lives a lot. I remember you said that. Yes. So, now, I know your career and the roles you've played. You must have had to go after this one, because they don't give you stuff like this. Well, I wanted, I had played roles not exactly like this, but I had played... Uh, glamorous uh, people, but I think that people remember what you do last mm -hmm. as as whatever is successful. And Newhart was very successful, and I loved it. And I made a very conscious decision when the show ended that I was going to do something that was going to be at the other end of the spectrum, mm -hmm. so that people could see and be reminded that I'm an actress. Yeah. I'm capable of playing this lady. I'm capable of playing. Um, Joanna Loudon on Newhart, I'm capable of playing uh, a lady down and out, you know? And that's why I consciously chose this. But you know how this happened? Oh. Interesting. Uh, you inadvertently were a part of this. Because Jackie Collins called me and she said, I want you to play this character. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to play the character. And she said, but I have got to show the network that you are capable of this and you're not Joanna Loudon. So, she said, I want that Arsenio Hall tape from the first time you were on his show. Oh, yeah, because we were kind of yeah. fooling around and yeah. we were, yeah. Laughing and carrying, dancing and... And, and, and you, you had on your... She had a... On a, the sweater backwards. Yes, that top where you have a hole in the back of the top and she had it on the wrong side. Now, it looked that way, but I'm sure it was probably designed to be that way. No, it wasn't. You, it was I backwards? told you that. Let's play that tape. Let's run that I always tape. thought you were joking, but... <clears throat> no. Joke with you? <laughs> a serious guy like you? Well, it was just a different you than anybody had ever seen. You well, were... it was a lot of Mary. I mean, I like things that are, you know, off-center, that are a little on the edge. I like to live a little more without things being perfect. Mm -hmm. I don't like perfection so much. So they took that tape to the network, and the they network... They took that tape to the network. You know, where we were dancing and kidding around, and I think we had a, a bun bake-off. I think you did yeah, very well. Edward Asner was here, yeah. and we were comparing... Your buns, yeah. I think, came in ten, for sure. <laughs> yeah, in the Olympic trials. And, <laughs> and they looked at that, and they said, that's the woman. Well, that's let's look character. at this clip. We, we have a clip here. What's yes. in this? This is where I am beginning to seduce him. Mm -hmm. The first time that I really take him to bed with me. Sandy? Show him <coughs> Sandy? <laughs> Come over here, and I'll 
show you how to do a lot more than just play baseball. Nobody tells me how to do this. I got a degree in it. And tear it up. I'm gonna teach you everything you think you already know. That must be tough on homeboy's ego. I mean, you, like, <laughs> you schooled him in the bedroom. Well, because he, he is, uh, at that point, he thinks he does know everything. He's Mr., you know, uh, Igor Ego. Mm -hmm. You know, don't tell me, lady. You know, I've got, I've got him lined up. And, and she's rightfully saying, and he, he says later, you were right. She says, wait, 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 wait a minute. This isn't what you've been accustomed to. Later on in the scene, she goes on about, you know, you're not, you're not uh, taking some, you know, quick little journey. You're taking a long, sensuous journey. Mm. So, let me show you. And he finally does, you know, come around. It was, it was really hilarious shooting it, though. Is there any of that woman in Mary Fran? Oh, absolutely. You've schooled somebody in the bedroom oh, like that before? Oh, not schooled it. <laughs> No, what schooled. I, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Schooled. Taught. Schooled. Yes, taught. I should say taught. taught. I'm sorry. Taught. Yes. Taught. yes. I'm sorry. You but, meant to say taught. But, but it might, scold might work no, to no. slow down. <laughs> Has any woman ever done that to you? Yes. Yeah? Yes. As a, as a matter of fact, I think every man should allow his woman to school him a little bit because oh, they know what they need. And what they, and what we like. And vice versa. And vice versa. I think it's very, very sexy uh, for a woman to say to a man, you know, I adore you, and, oh, wait, 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 let's take our time here. We've got all night. I think it's very, very sexy for a man also yeah. to uh, teach a lady yeah. a little bit. And you have to be sensitive. There's a way to do yes. it. You, know, you can, hey, hey, two, you, yeah. you two, don't. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> you know, you have to be, you know, yeah. things like, you know, is that a wig, honey? Or, you know, I mean, that isn't going to get you too far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to be real kind of gentle and, and patient, you know, and I think that that's sexy, don't you? Yeah, you can do anything if you do it right. If you do if it, it right. The methodology is I mean, so you important. could say to a man, uh, you know, I like you in that, but you've got such a great body. Why don't you wear things a little more tailored? Mm -hmm. And men really... will eat that up. Oh, okay. <laughs> And vice versa. Like, what have you said to a woman? You wanted to see her in something or out of some, I don't know what, but... Yeah. What do you say? You, you, well, you have, sometimes you have to suggest. Yeah. And you have to do it with love. And I think if you put love into it, too. it'll come out right. I feel the same way. Yeah. Now, th this, this project, wait, okay, uh, miniseries? Uh, Sunday NBC, night. NBC, Sunday night. Sunday night, NBC. And it's October Lucky 7th Kansas. through 9th. Yes, uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Ah. And I think, I really do think it's going to be marvelous. I had a great time doing it. And shooting those scenes was hilarious because after the first day when they looked at the rushes, because mm -hmm. they had really been very uh, protective of the set. Yeah. And the next day I saw twice as many people there. Yeah. And I thought, who are all these people? <laughs> I mean, how could I have been in such a coma? I didn't see all these people. So I went over to a guy and I said, uh, I'm sorry, I, I haven't met you. Were you here yesterday? He said, oh, I just came up to have lunch with Eddie the Grip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then I went to the next Aww. guy and said, oh, I just came up to have lunch with George. You know, he's on sound. People had heard about so the suddenly, lessons you were given. Oh, I don't know. They, they were willing to teach me a few things. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that must have been embarrassing. We, we got to run, take a commercial. But check her out on NBC. This is Mary Fran. Thank you.